My name is Elikim. I'm from Agile Off-Road. This is a Mercedes Sprinter 2500 4x4. It's a Winnebago Revel. This bed lift that lowers whatever height you like. This is France, so we actually rented it for the weekend. So this specific vehicle goes for four. I don't. Why am I doing this? You don't have to. You I, don't want it. I do want to. <laughs> I didn't listen to the directions. Hey everybody, John with Owl Vans. We are out here in San Juan Capistrano. So today is a really special day. We got something really cool going on. We'll explain to you in just a little bit, but yeah, super pumped on this. We've been waiting for this week for a while. Got the snacks. So we're on our way to Adventure Van Expo. So it's a huge van expo that they do all across the United States and they have one here in San Juan Capistrano. They have a ton of van products, a ton of van vendors and van conversion companies. I think it'll give us a ton of inspiration for our van. As you guys know, our van is currently being built out but it's in the very beginning stages, so there is time for us to make changes to it. If you like van content, be sure to follow our new Instagram page. It's just Mo and Hannah Travel on Instagram. And if you guys can hit that like button, it really does help with the channel a lot. And subscribe if you aren't already. But without further ado, let's get over to this van expo and see what's going on. Phew. Hi, this is Miley from Soundskins Global. We are a sound deadening and insulation company, and um, this is our main product, which is Soundskins Pro. This offers uh, sound deadening, so it has the foil, a layer of foil um, that you'll see in a lot of products such as Killmat and Dynamat, as well as a layer of closed cell acoustic foam, which adds another layer of um, sound deadening as well as heat insulation. So many installers choose to use this product along with um, insulate or any type of thermal insulation to help make keep your van cooler. My name is Elikim. I'm from Agile Off-Road. We're a suspension company for Mercedes Sprinter vans based in Santee, California. We're about uh, 20 minutes east of San Diego. Uh, we primarily, like I said, work on the Mercedes Sprinter vans here. Um, we do suspension, wheels, tires, uh, big brake kits. Uh, we've got a new ARB rear locker that we uh, debuted for the Sprinter about six months ago. Um, fuel tanks, pretty much anything you can bolt to the van underneath or on the outside, um, we're gonna we're gonna be able to do for you. This is a Mercedes Sprinter 2500 4x4. It's a Winnebago Revel. Um, so to the factory suspension, we add this coil spring uh, to the front strut. It's gonna add about an inch and a half of ride height. The reason we put that spring in there is because the factory leaf spring in there across the front, the taper or transverse leaf spring, is overmatched with the weight of the heavy build. So by adding a little bit more spring force to it, picks the vehicle off the bump stops, gets it suspended again and, and riding properly. Uh, we also add an auxiliary front shock here from Fox. Um, we've developed these uh, shocks with Fox over the last eight years or so. So they're custom built by Fox for us, specifically for the Sprinter. That's gonna add some more uh, damping to the front suspension as well. Uh, this also has our big brake kit on it. So two inch, two inch bigger front rotor, two inch bigger rear rotor, uh, six piston caliper instead of a four piston caliper and uh, a four piston caliper in the rear. So two more pistons per caliper uh, in the rear. We do a custom leaf spring in the rear, built for the weight of the vehicle. So this vehicle's rear axle weight's around 5,000 pounds, so we built the leaf spring accordingly. Uh, tune the shocks with that as well, too, with Fox shocks. Again, here's our rear brake upgrade kit. Hi, my name's Tony. I'm here with Al Vans today. And uh, we want to kind of showcase the one thing we just kind of came out with the, for the van world here. We've come up with a way where we can air up and air down all four tires at once. When you're going off-roading, you can air down all four tires, and then when you go back at the end of the day, you need to fill your tires up, you can hook everything back up and fill all, all your tires back up. This app here, I can simply dial in whatever pressure I want. Say, like right now, if I want to go off-road and I want to go to 25 PSI, I can turn on the pressure control. Right now, I can hear the air bleeding out of the system, so it's going to start airing down all four tires at once down to your target pressure. Producing a new talon wheel. The new talon wheel we're doing for the 
sprinter van, two wheel drive, four wheel drive. We're doing for the transit two wheel drive and we're also doing a transit all wheel drive. Doing it three colors we're doing, a graphite gray, a satin black, and a bronze. The bronze a little bit fitting will be on the on the van itself, a little hard to shoot from there. Compared to all the aftermarket wheels right now, are anywhere from a 22 to 2600 pound load rating. This is actually 4,200 pounds, which exceeds the tire load rating of what's out there right now on the E-rated tire as well. It also has a dual valve system. The dual valve system is good, so you've got a quick valve for inflate and deflate when you, when you hit the ground. Decrease your air pressure from 70 PSI down to 25 to 30 PSI, depending on what you're looking to do. We're thinking about getting this ladder, but I need to see first if I can actually climb up it, so. I didn't listen to the directions. Yeah, I got it. How is it there? Pretty high up. I think I, I got to get down now. <laughs> hey, everybody. John with Owl Vans. We are out here in San Juan Capistrano at the Adventure Van Expo. I'm going to give you a quick run through of what Owl does. If you're not familiar with Owl, um, we basically started doing rear door carriers. This is probably one of our uh, most popular products. And uh, I have a lot of Toyotas, by the way, so my guys did that to me to mess with me. Um, but this is our ladder tire carrier, and the cool thing about this is it's kind of two birds, one stone, right? You get your tire on the back where it's easily accessible if you're going off-road and you drop a bead or you need to swap out a flat. But you've also got the ability to get up on top of the van with a ladder. And so instead of just buying something that does one thing, you have one that does two. Uh, really popular product for us, as well as being able to mount you know, additional fuel or a shovel or something uh, to the center. Expedition box here, really good way to store the stuff you don't want in your vans. A lot of people go, oh, you have a van, why do you need external storage? Well, once you build out a van, the inside actually gets really cramped. And anyone that spends a lot of time in a van knows how important it is to be organized and clean. And so you have dusty, dirty stuff, leveling boards, toe, st uh, toe straps, you know, shackle blocks, air hoses, stakes, tools, all the stuff that you need that's dirty, dusty, that you don't want rattling around inside your van, it goes in the box and it just stays there and it's a really nice home for it. So we have two new products. We have our new side ladder here and then we have our new side steps. I really like the way they came out. We spent a lot of time on the side steps. Uh, we wanted to make them functional as well as, you know, aesthetically appealing. And so we've got the bigger platform where you get in and out of the vehicle. And then a lot of folks on the driver's side won't have a platform, but we put the modular mounting platform here so you can mount uh, roto packs, max tracks, anything else that's smaller that you want to carry on the side of the vehicle, you can put here. So this looks minor, but it's actually something that, that we wanted to spend time on and be thoughtful about. So when you get tubes like this and you're coming from the top of the van out and maybe it's the morning, it's a little bit wet, maybe it's raining, and you step on the edge and it can actually be a little bit slippery getting in and out of the vehicle. It's a problem with all side steps. So we created this um, kind of traction plate that bolts on. It's got a nice sharp edge here, not sharp like cut your hand, but sharp, it catches your boots. And then also we've got a little bit of a boot scraper there. So when you come in from a little bit of a dirty uh, uh, situation or you're mountain biking, you got a little mud on your shoes, you can scrape the big chunks off because everybody knows you want to keep your van clean. Now this is one of the more famous van conversion companies out there. You guys have probably heard of it. It's called Outside Van, and this is one of their models. I guess it's called the Stingray. Tell how dialed and professional everything is looking. A little nicer than our van, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is like the amount of space we're going to have, except for we're going to have a lot more cabinets, which is going to make things feel a little more crammed, but I think it'll be OK, for sure. Hi, guys. How are you? This is Maria from Light Travelers Van Conversions. So we built, this is the Aracama model. We patented this bed lift that lowers whatever height you like. And, and yeah, we, we also have accessories like the, the side steps, the foot rack, the front bumper, and yeah, take a look. The bed is up here. Let me show it to you how it lowers down. So it's an electric bed lift and it lowers down. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's it. And you have storage in here. One of the best looking fridges I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, right? <laughs> it's like a desk where you can just work from here. And it's really big. It fits up to 
six people wow. or more. And we're really detail oriented, so that's why we take care of all this little like decoration, shades. We want to stand out from other companies that are more rugged or not as fancy looking. <laughs> so if you want to build a van, you can just send us an email info at lighttravelersusa.com or go to our website lighttravelersusa.com. Hi everybody, this is Jess from Brew Trek. We make all kinds of coffee storage and French presses for camp camping enthusiasts. This is a product that we happen to make, which is a French press with the removable bottom for easy cleanup while you're out there. We got tons of other fun products, so swing by and say hey. How's it going? I'm Chris. Uh, I have uh, Freedom Coast. We make cycling products, and this is our new bike rack. Uh, this one's designed specifically for L track mounting, so this mounts directly to an L track in the side of your, in the back of your van or toy hauler. Uh, this rack also goes in the back of your truck with a different bracket, and then when so it opens like this, and you basically roll the bike in like that, and then you close it on the wheel, and then as soon as it's closed, it's, it's locked in. Oh, so, so cool. there's no ratchets or, or anything, it's all smooth flowing, and actually the harder you pull on it, the harder it locks in. So the bike's not going anywhere, and when you want to take the bike out, you just pop it open like this, and pull the bike out. Freedomcoast.net and we're, this product's just coming out, so we're taking pre-orders. $100 deposit reserves uh, your rack right now. Hey, how's it going? I'm Dave uh, Garola with Bossy Vans. Uh, this is my new company. This is our, our finished van we just finished. This is, this is our Sandy build. This is, uh, these are actually our customers that we built it for back here. Kent and Jayla, just say, hey guys. Yeah, we just finished this van for them. Uh, we're calling, <laughs> We're calling this the Sandy Build. Uh, they love to go to the beach and hang out at the beach, so this is kind of the build we're going for, their look. You offer finance. <laughs> and, oh yes, we offer financing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm Camila with Go Camp. We are our camper van rental service, so if you own a van or you want to try out van life, we're the place to go. Check us out at gocamprentals.com. Pretty much we rent out individually owned vans just like this one back here. So if you have a van that's sitting in your parking lot in your driveway and you want to make some extra money, you can list it with GoCamp and we'll help facilitate rentals for you. And then if you're interested in just renting out a van and trying it out, you can find a van in any place in the US, uh, pick it up from an individual van owner and try it out before you purchase your own. This one right here, for example, is based here in this area and it's $220 a night. And the great thing at Go Camp is that all of our rentals are hop in and go ready. So all the rentals include bedding, camping, and cooking gear. So really, if you're renting with us, you just have to bring your luggage, stop at a grocery store, pick up some food, and then head off on an adventure. Hey, welcome, Instavan Builds. I am the owner operator, the only employee. Uh, come on in, table drops down, it makes a bed. All right, pull out table for like cooking, grilling. I have a three-year-old, she chills right here. We got storage blankets, pillows, lap belts, so you don't lose your seating. So for, for me specifically, we have a three-year-old with a car seat, right? So this is a, a nice option I can install. And then hop on up and you got your kitchen island, kitchenette. Uh, you can get this one 25 to 30,000. So if you wanna know what separates us, um, I don't have employees, I don't charge 50, 75,000 for a conversion. This one specifically, yeah, like I said, 25, 30,000. I'm on Instagram, Instavan Builds, or 651-309-7375. My name is Carly, I'm with Outdoorsy. We're kind of like Airbnb, but for the RV camper market, we help connect private owners that maybe they don't use their van or their RV too much with renters and their families that want to rent them out. This is for rent, so we actually rented it for the weekend. So this specific vehicle goes for 425 a night. So you have to be 25 to rent a vehicle, so it's similar to, you know, getting a rental car. So basically you go on to outdoorsy.com, you just search the vehicle that you're interested in, you go through the process, uh, an owner will reach out to you, and basically everything can be done on the app or the website. You typically go to an owner's house or you know a convenient location like a Walmart to pick it up. And then once the rental is over, you bring it back to that same location and hand the keys back to the owner. So it's a pretty simple process. Okay, this is the stream from Guzzle H2O. It's a great tool for filling up your onboard water tanks with up to 35 gallons of drinking water. Pull up uh, next to a lake or a river or stream, whatever you have, 
and use the long 30 foot outlet hose and pump water over out of the lake, body water uh, into your van. So inside here is the carbon filter. Uh, this is the UV purifier. Here's the pump and then the lithium battery runs it all. The best way to find us is on our website, guzzleh2o.com. <laughs> Dude, it's Flare Space, baby. You gotta sleep sideways. Hi, I'm Trevor and uh, I work for Flare Space. Work, is this work? I, I get paid to be here, whatever. We have the Mega Flare. So Flare Space is all about saving space, turning your bed sideways to save that space in the middle of your van. Two days ago, we just announced the Mega Flare. It's our biggest, baddest flare ever. Look at this. From where the traditional flare used to be, all the way up. Right behind the driver's side, you got the arch turn windows. I'll take you inside, let's, let's check out the inside too. Flare space are fiberglass pods that extend the horizontal width of your van so you can turn your bed sideways and save space inside your van. Okay, check this out too. We have this high-tech trim ring. So we got reading lights overhead and I'm charging my phone right here. These pieces here are fiberglass insets that trim out the inside of your van so you don't have to scribe out wiggle board. None of us are finished carpenters, right? So you don't want to have to make those radiuses, four of them, eight of them, 12 with the mega flare. You don't want to do that. So we have these fiberglass pieces that go inside. It's called a trim ring. Then we have the bed system. This is our bed. It's completely compatible with the flares. So think of the trim ring as an extension of your bed platform. So then you have a hinge mattress, folds in half, and these are two 30 inch panels. So it's super easy. Should we break it down? Hey, yeah. hey, let's do this. Yeah. What's up? We're gonna take the bed out. I don't, why am I doing this? You don't have to, you I, don't want it. I do want to. <laughs> why would you pack a suitcase when you can just put your suitcase on your wall? Are those your guys's? Yeah, we sell them, Van Wife. Hey, this is a french fry. So cool. Too easy. Two carriage bolts right here. Too easy. Flarespace.com at underscore flarespace underscore. Got the space on each side. Are you guys going to Baja again next year? Hell yeah, brother.